Hello friends, welcome to Infijam. Once again in this very very exciting algebraic challenging equations, we are going to solve one interesting quartic equation for four solutions. Equation is x plus 1 whole square plus x plus 2 cube plus x plus 3 power 4 equal to 2. While solving this quartic equation, we will use algebraic identities mainly and then we will use Pascal's triangle method quadratic equation, algebraic manipulation and quadratic formula too. So let's get started. I'm going to give substitution x plus 2 equal to y. If it is y then x plus 1 would be y minus 1. x plus 3 would be y plus 1. Okay. So our substitution is x equal to or x plus 2 equal to y or x is equal to y minus 2. Both are same thing x plus 2 equal to y. Okay, let's talk about equation. So y minus 1 whole square plus y cube plus y plus 1 whole power 4. Now see power is 4. There is you can see it is power 4. So I will write using Pascal's triangle. What is Pascal triangle? See, it is Pascal's triangle 1, 3, 3, 1. This is for cube 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. This is for power 4. So, for this expansion, I will use this Pascal's triangle. Okay, so these are our coefficients which I will put over there. So, let me write, let me finalize the equation y minus 1 whole square. So, y square minus 2y plus 1 plus second term y cube as it is plus now expansion so how i will write the first term power in the descending order so y power 4 this first coefficient is done now 4 so i will write plus 4y cube descending order of first term plus 6y square plus 4y plus last term is 1. So, I will write 1 equal to 2. Now, whatever you can cancel, you can cancel. So, I will write, see 2, I will cancel by these two cancellation. Now, y4 is the only term. So, y4, y cube plus 4y cube. So, 5y cube. y square, this much is done. Okay. y square plus 6y square. 7y square, 4y minus 2y, so 2y. You can check if any term is there, which is left out. Okay. Now easily visible that y is common. I will write y cube plus 5y square plus 7y plus 2 equal to 0. So once product is 0, that means either y equal to 0 or cubic equation is equal to 0. If y is equal to 0, let's put the value. Let's put the value here so that one solution is confirmed. Our substitution was y equal to 0. So I will put in place of y, I will write x plus 2 equal to 0. So first solution which is negative integer x is equal to minus 2. Now our target is this cubic equation. You can put the values for base root or base solution. You can put few values. There are many ways possible. Remainder theorem you can apply. Then you can apply synthetic division method, long division method, check and error method. Any method if you want you can apply. I am going to show you using synthetic division method. What is that method? See I will use the rational root theorem. So the factors of plus 2 we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2. See leading coefficient is having 1. So that is plus minus 1. So these are the only possible eligible factors. So out of these four values I am going to put suppose y equal to minus 2 for checking only. Okay minus 2 cube minus 8 minus 2 square so 4 4 times 5 20 7 times minus 2 minus 14 plus 2. Check whether it is 0. 20 plus 2, 22. 8, negative 8, negative 14, negative 22. Yes. 
that means y equal to minus 2 is one root of the cubic equation. Now I will use synthetic division. So I will write here y equal to minus 2 and that cubic equation let me write y cube plus 5y square plus 7y plus 2 equal to 0. Now I will write all the coefficients 1, 5, 7, 2. Put one line over there, leading coefficient as it is. Now take the product minus 2 into 1, minus 2, 3, minus 6, 1, minus 2, 0. So factorization is also done. I will write y my, that cubic equation factorization y plus 2 in bracket y square plus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. So from here we can conclude y equal to minus 2 and from second equ equation or quadratic equation we can conclude quadratic formula let me apply minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac so minus 4 over 2a so 2. So it will give us minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. So let me put back the value of our substitution. What was our substitution? This was our substitution y. So I will write here y is equal to x plus 2 equal to negative 2. So x is equal to negative 4. Second solution is also confirmed. So, so far we have x is equal to negative 2 and negative 4. Okay, now this equation, this quadratic equation will give us two more solutions. Now let's put the value of y here. So I will write x plus 2 equal to minus 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2. I will take away 2 from both sides. x will be equal to minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2 minus 2. So I will get minus 7 plus minus root 5 over 2. So here we have all four solutions. So let me write x is equal to the remaining 2 minus 7 plus root 5 over 2 and minus 7 minus root 5 over 2. Two irrational roots or solution. Let me put in the box. Now I will verify two negative integer values. x equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 4. So let me write here verification x equal to minus 2. Here I am going to put the value. So I will write minus 2 plus 1. So minus 1 whole square. Minus 2 plus 2. So 0 whole cube minus 2 plus 3 plus 1 whole power 4. So it is 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is 2 equal to our RHS that means verified. Okay. Now second value x is equal to minus 4. Let me put here minus 4. So I will get minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 whole square minus 4 plus 2 so minus 2 whole cube minus 4 plus 3 so minus 1 whole power 4 minus 3 whole square is 9 negative 2 whole cube negative 8 negative 1 whole power 4 what I will get negative 1 whole power 4 so that value will be 1 so 9 plus 1 is 10 minus 8 equal to 2 which is our RHS this is how we can cross examine our calculated values. So, so far our final solutions are minus 2, minus 4 and 2 irrational roots minus 7 plus minus let me write directly over 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care.